Hello and welcome to my coding session where I implement my application which is a bucket manager. It is a user for JavaFX application for managing XML files which consists of satellite channels information. So today mm, I have another milestone which another milestone. Let me quickly go to my Eclipse and tell you what you about to see. So I spent today quite a lot of time <laughs> Friday, but still I got some free time and not working for my client and working sometimes for my project. It's always fun. Um, but anyway, so basically I just need to start my application first. Well, you see this many times and the user input the data. Let me just get hold of paths. Uh, it is on my tests. Test, 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 view tests. And I have my open. No. Need to look it up closely. Yeah. So. I just need to take the path and then I can explain what's happening. So I manually input the path to the files. Mm, I didn't copy. Oh. <laughs> Unexpected problem with Eclipse. Okay, now it runs. Still, it's kind of funny. I'm running my Eclipse on Java. 9 and my environment development Java 8 but yeah maybe I need to update my JVM to 11 and see how the performance of Eclipse will be and let me just quickly input the path of files okay so now you can basically see uh, all left and right sides. I spent quite a lot of time to figure it out how it works and I will explain it later but still I need to quickly go over it and say it took me like three working hours to be able to, un to get hold of the data to the UI to, po to insert data to the UI and so and the, basically the problem is is the way how JavaFX render uh, the data. Uh, before I will switch to the code, I say uh, which elements I build my stuff. So this is a tree. No, this is a table view data type. Uh, table view is in container of the tab. Tab is an element. Uh, it is part of tab pane. So uh, per default I only have one tab and one table in this tab. But dynamically, and you will see, you will see this later, I load all of my data to the, yeah, to, to the appropriate tab. And clearly it works and this is kind of funny, this additional feature if you add additional tab it just dynamically uh, creates such uh, element which allow you to choose and this is what I need to have so let me just switch to the code and basically UI uh, testing kind of uh, rudimentary but it's kind of still an engine to, to move to, to, to <laughs> sorry yeah, to, to be able to make sure that I'm on the right path of, of the track. And basically what I'm testing here, first I need to be sure that I can actually be, see uh, the right side of the screen. Then I'm, then I'm making sure that my data is not empty. And my paths to valid XMLs. Then I need to make sure that I getting the right 
file name and then I just uh, look up a tab that the tab is available, the default tab is available, that is not, not, not now, that is populated with data and that's basically it. So pre pretty uh, rudimentary and kind of, yeah, kind of like this. And how it looks in, in my actually controller. So I just need to go to my controller. UI controller, main menu, controllers, and I have favorite list controller. A lot of stuff. I kind of, I'm always kind of, mm, yeah, I need to refactor this, those controllers because they get quickly uh, in size because of the stuff which you can able uh, to control with the controller. But anyway, you see my code here. This is kind of funny. Uh, this is actually where the magic happens. So my main controller, main controller, main controller, make menu controller. It's even larger, but I'm trying uh, basically the work with main controller. I think at the moment is finished. Um, most more work happens with uh, other controllers in the future. So here basically, let me just call the line change and exactly here. So after user applies all the files, my main controller notified the change because it has, it listens to this paths of the XML files. And then I call this method and this method calls, actually it checks if I loaded needed amount of files and then it just calls populate left part of main view populate right of main view data and how it will do it it gets a hold of a controllers so my main menu controller access can access all the controllers and how I done that it was kind of interesting experience and needed to I look it up uh, into into the documentation, and it was pretty interesting because you have to notice that you have um, FXML have a special ID. I mean, you can you need to give a special ID. I mean, there are no option. You need to give a special FX ID, and then apply additional uh, word controller in the con in the controller which you which later will access other stuff I mean which ex which later will access another controller so basically it goes like this main menu controller notifies the change and he calls the second controller in my case favorite list controller and favorite list controller method which it looks like this and basically yeah Basically, I make sure that my uh, object, which consists of a paths to the XML files, is available. I'm checking it, checking it, and may maybe it's not so necessary. Maybe it's too too harsh for from like my my test. But anyway, and I see the method pretty large. Maybe I can actually just um, extract the method extract. It's really quite interesting. So how I should name it? Uh, build a set of set buckets. Uh, try to build. Uh, try to build and display left, right view, right view, right view. Maybe the name is not so cool, but still, I always like to keep my uh, methods small, if 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 it's possible. Anyway, mm, minor minor issue, but interesting for the development. So basically, what it does, it checks as I said earlier, and then I create a list which is 
an array list of my UI model channel. I said I said it earlier. You cannot use uh, straight away your uh, model data type. You need to make it uh, like simplified one. So I have created simplified data structure to display the data. And basically, is kind of maybe a hack. I don't know. I'm not a JavaFX developer. I'm still uh, on most times my field of work heavy on backend, 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 Spring Boot, Spring, Node.js, and such stuff. Uh, and I'm not JavaFX developer, but I learned a lot through all of my experience from my pet pro pet project, and you will clearly see that it's all working. So basically what it does, it, it calls this method, which I have created currently. This method generates, uh, this method actually generates a view. Let's just go over it. I use counter to prevent the case um, where I have already on my side of, of the screen. Let me just show you what I mean. Uh, FXML, FXML, where it is, man? Uh -huh. Yeah, it gets crowded at some point, but let's just look it, it up in the resources and the resources, source test resources. Here it is, and let me just pick it, pick, pick it the right file. Okay. Now, basically, I expect. Okay. So, what I mean? This method, which I have shown you earlier, it populate this form with data. Uh, and default case, always I need to check that my first element, which is favor, which is here tab, which is this tab, this table, it is populated first. And after that, I need to check that my first element was populated and I'm doing this pretty simple. I'm using a counter. So when I in the first iteration of my for loop, it is uh, incremented, and if it not, if it, if the counter not zero, so it else will be executed and the counter will be count it will increment incremented to. So for me it's like such way. And most, I will say, not so funny part is uh, with displaying of information in the table view. I thought <laughs> that three table view was pretty difficult, uh, but even 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 that is not uh, in comparison with this three view data type. So basically, mm, I have a columns which I use for creating next table for my view and what I mean by that I mean this table so it is first it is loaded from this formula formula and then I dynamically add another tabs and the tables and you basically looking at the part of the code where I doing doing the, this dynamical stuff and it, I, I did thought about uh, is there any better solution but I just decided to use it the simply the simplest one maybe it's not if so efficient but it does work for me and so I need to create columns which I have created here I setting up each of my columns using this method for each of the column then I need to add all of the columns to the table which I had created previously. And then I need yeah, then I creating this list of SATV channel. So this is UI model for my view, which I will create la later. And after doing that I create, uh, I setting all of the elements here, 
and here basically putting all of my uh, columns it's basically columns yeah and what what is once so it's basically this is my model model which I populated previously and then I put all of the columns so this is how this is how it gets <laughs> I put the observable uh, list of the satellite TV channels which I have populated previously and then all of additional columns and then all of the stuff is added to the table and at this point of time ah, and I need to add the table create a table with all of the elements to the tab which I have created previously yeah need, you need to look the code to and run the test to understand how it actually runs it's it took me a while to get around and it was pretty pretty I will say not difficult but kind of strange feeling doing working with this rendering stuff and after all after all the work is done I do some cleanup and basically what I need to clean up actually in this case let me just look it up so I say one thing I just actually miss it I need after doing all of the stuff generate view for right part of window where I'm calling this method actually after doing this for loop I need to get hold of my list and get I think this is get set of sort sort of TV buckets and clean it yeah clear um, it is not necessary currently at the moment to to hold this data uh, mm, will be used for futures future features but it is not needed in my case because I have loaded the, all, all the data into my UI and if I don't access my data for the future stuff why I need to hold it in memory it makes no sense so I just cl clean it here but I will basically will look up later maybe maybe it's like precaution I like to, to make precaution stuff and make sure that it's run so basically it's kind of big method generating view for the next step so once again one case is populate data it, it in elements which are already presented this is what I get like for free from the scene builder and then dynamically I need to build the stuff up so I'm building all the columns building all the tables and adding that to the tab and tab I add to the tab pane and after that I clean up my temporary list because it, it gets it, it, it creates some problem if you don't clean up basically save the channels and it, it just messy stuff so you, you need to clean up your temporal uh, list temporary list of set TV channels and did I forget? Uh, okay, so one crazy stuff about JavaFX and uh, all of this table stuff, data type, it kind of, kind of, I mean, I'm not, uh, I don't like to have to work with, with hard abstraction. I mean, hard abstraction is cool, but kind of gets in the way at, at, the, at the time of, at, of the process so what I mean by that let me just quickly show you some part of the code which I hated a lot yeah like like following stuff it's make my my hair crawl when I see such methods uh, but this is actually need to use because if you don't set cells of the table columns uh, yeah 
it will not it will not be show up so this is kind of part of java fix which i don't like it so it's 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 kind of uh, let me just actually look it up what it does set the value of property cell value factory yeah it's, uh, actually you, you specify how to populate your uh, your all, all cells and i'm not i not i don't like it the way and uh, funny thing it was like how f to figure out how to represent integer so string is not a problem it's like two line two line or one line if you like it but to represent an integer um i look it up at on stack overflow and this is what was presented so i basically over overriding the observer observable value call i mean which i have from the callback and this gives me the opportunity to rightly represent the integer so it was kind of i still i still have a feeling that is not the best solution for the given problem but it does work for me and i don't think that that it will cause any harm in, in the future and yeah basically and here you actually looking up um here how i populate the data so i creating here a list of uh, set tv channels it's a model data type class ui model channel and there i put uh, all the values which i read from the uh, from the from the class it's actually a, a set of bucket uh, tv channels so i hope it is previous ob obvious what my code does mm, sorry for my bubbling through but yeah it's kind of i mean working with a table in java if fix i mean should be done i'm not sure it is is it better in java fx 9 version i'm not sure i did not work with the java fix so so much but it does uh, work for me and let let's just quickly run all all of the tests and then i can actually make my commit because i commit my policy as a freelancer for my work uh, i commit when i fully done my unit tests even if my work is not done i do not commit to the github so any commit always covered by tests by tests which actually passing and this is what i expect from my other colleagues this is a kind of a professionalism which i trying to try to teach people and say do not commit code if you're not sure that is working code because if you commit not working code you're polluting your source uh, base and it can cause actually a harm not not actually you, your company employees do not gain anything if the code base becomes ugly uh, and it's kind of argument with uh, some of my clients but i say what is the value for you is it value for you as software which breaks at any point point in time or is it a value for you if you have a software which works at any point of time and i prefer the second option so i expect that my software or or the projects where i work that through my work the software becomes more stable more efficient and it brings actually results because it runs at any point of time at any condition and like to show you that i actually say what i do i just run all of my unit tests and i hope not nothing breaks i did change some stuff life like so to say but this is what i want to see any time at any project that i can actually write my tests and the test can actually pass the code make uh, all the stuff green and this is kind of big stuff i mean if you able to satisfy all of your 
requirements which you have given by your company or by the client and all stuff running pretty well without any problem then you should be able to say it we can ship it and I still say my my project is not at the I will say like not in the beta state but it is pretty damn near to the alpha state because some stuff can actually be displayed and read upon and yeah, I do not I do not have any <laughs> big time to <laughs> to invest but this is kind of fun project for me but it's like a case of proof that it is possible uh, to write in TDD style and achieve some milestones with it and actually it's runs runs and runs and as I said earlier the big uh, advantage of TDD is that you can actually add some stuff and without any problem be able to test it and do another milestone and achieve your success without any time spending in debugging mo models uh, or I mean in some state where you need to read the code I say most times where I spent a lot of time it's like reading documentation reading source code of other developers and understanding uh, the complexity of the code and trying to make it more efficient so abstraction for all of the purposes should be always like less and less usable I mean if you want it to make it complex you can use abstractions to the heavy part and have your 100% encapsulation or like I don't know stuff which you can read up in the design patterns design patterns are cool but they all have disadvantages and the best way to use a design pattern in my opinion it's find find the situation where the design pattern is is making more sense and you can actually prove it through the unit tests so uh, things get complicated if you have enterprise environment I know it's not always easy uh, but it is possible and in my experience this was it was successful to test it in enterprise environment too but yeah do do try to do the best work with your abilities and still I'm still learning a lot of stuff about programming it's like never ending proceeds process for me and probably never be <laughs> I hope it uh, but yeah it works for me and my project once again it's a proof that you can write tests even if your domain is not 100% fully understand it but you can make sure that at any point of time if something changes and nothing breaks and if you need to do adjustments you can do it without any pain and this is actually a power I mean how many people spend their working time looking up into the debugger and just trying to figure it out what just crazy happens because two different stories at the source code level and at the runtime level I prefer to work more and more on the source code rather to work on the runtime level because it's uh, runtime you can do many crazy stuff with the reflections you, you just you just make uh, your system more unstable if you in my opinion make your stable system more unstable if you add some uh, runtime libraries I mean like you have a server which is running and you loading a jar or var which add additional functionality to your application but your application will never program it in such a way to be able to handle the other APIs so it's like 
understanding this external influence is always important and if you if you do negligibly use it and if, if you don't think about it you will get a problem and I have a pity for you but you will get a problem if you try always to depend on external li libraries I mean science on some point it's like common sense and people should use common sense a lot so all build successful and let me just run it la one last time and how I can do this main view run Java application get hold it loaded now I just need to get open wait a second and get open the access to the files it's the wrong file of course uh, yeah so I say basically make common sense about stuff which you see in, in the internet there are so many opinions um, I say if I have a point of point of case I mean if I can actually show people that it is possible to do it in the TD, TDD style and say it does not cost me so much time and effort to do that and many times in I mean my approach to learn more about stuff which I don't understand and if it is not not my domain I say honestly I need more time to, to be able and projects where I have time limits they need I think they need more specialized in preparing rather than execution execution is like uh, it's like uh, I will say it's like uh, taking responsibility uh, because you have a trust of your uh, departments which or I mean you have the responsibility and honesty of other peoples to do the work and if you don't know how fast you can do the work even if you overwork you will not be successful uh, because you did not prepared your stuff to, to rightly to execute it and just pushing and in, in hope that is be successful it rather mm, uh, in my point of you it's rather lacking of uh, understanding of essential problem which you actually need to solve so here you go I loaded successfully all of the data on the left side I have my satellites actually it's like uh, channels which have which are which you can copy to the other side uh, copy method I did not implement it yet but it's kind of on my list to do that to add to take one channel and to put it here in the view and basically all of the data which you see here is loaded into memory but it have no second uh, backup I mean it's not needed currently at the moment but what is important to say in Java FX it's kind of heavy to populate all of the cells in three table view and table view and it took it took some understanding how to do that because I mean normally expect uh, more pretty stuff but I say it goes for me like this and what should you expect next probably I will try next time to do it to do it live to try to implement quit and paste copy delete I probably will be pretty simple sort of alphabetically I don't think yeah you can sort it but it's not it's not written by me it's like default function here I think oh, okay you can sort it here too cool cool yeah it's I, I think what I need to say 
the nice experience of the project it is when all of the tests passing and I do not uh, corrupt any any data which I have loaded here. So kind of interesting how my project developed. But this is my another milestone which I have reached, and other stuff will be like working on particular additional functionality, like uh, what to do in edit, what to do in add, and other stuff. But this is pretty it, and. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen and if you like my project you can always support it so once again if you like it if you can support it and I have many different roles in my projects if you can if you wish to participate why not I think I can always have I was can get a help for development of stuff like developing for JavaScript, I mean, I do not use in my application no JavaScript at all, but uh, for my site, which I have created to for my project, it can be quite handy to have somebody which can, I will say, do some better job as me. But anyway, thank you for your support, and that's it. So I, reached, I reached big milestone, and... I should continue. Till then next. Bye bye.